Hello, and welcome to this guitar lesson for Loudon Wainwright III's album Unrequited, um, album number five. Uh, new as of this episode is that you will find timestamps for the individual songs in the description. I um, went back and, and added those for the previous episode, so now you can skip exactly to the song that you wanted to, to learn without having to skip around trying to, um, to find it. Uh, so with that said, let's just jump into it. First up is Sweet Nothings. Now, um, this is a band song, so uh, I think we have some, uh, some freedom in how we want to um, interpret it, but uh, the chords we'll be using is E, A, B7, and uh, C sharp minor. Alright? So I usually play it like this, right? E, right? Add the 7, A, add the sus4. Right? Write me a letter, make me feel better. Take me to dinner, make me feel like a winner. Come on and whisper. And then B7, sweet nothings. In my ear. Alright, that's important. The, the G note there. Give me a back rub, give me a bear hug. Kiss me the French way and remember my birthday. Come on and whisper sweet nothings in my ear. And then we go into the uh, well, bridge, I guess. C sharp minor. Well, sweet nothings, they might mean nothing to someone. E? C sharp minor. Well, sweet nothings, they sure mean something to me. Yeah! B7, right? If you don't wanna take me to a sauna, if you ain't got the power. Ah, oh, it's a tough one to sing. Um. But that is uh, song number one, Sweet Nothings. Let's move on to song number two, The Lowly Tourist. Um, a reggae song. Um, again, it's a band tune, so I think we have some, some leniency in how we, um, how we play it. But the chords are C, G, and F. So I guess we'll try to do some sort of reggae, reggae rhythm. Sometimes as I feel so low, see the duty free, they laugh at me, gee, and they treat me like a schmo. Of course, they take my money, and sometimes they even smile. But at the local pub or restaurant, I'd be like I'm on trial. Right, so if you really want a more authentic reggae feel, you'll need to use bar chords. Yeah. Alright, the open strings do really poorly in, in a reggae rhythm, but um, um, that's how you would play it, C, G, and F. Moving on to track number three, Kings and Queens. Okay, the song in C, we'll be using C, D minor, F, and then back to C. Right, so we'll start off with um, our little bass run here. G, A, B, C. I'm as old, I'm as old. At the old, we'll add the pinky there to the second um, string third fret. I'm as old as D minor. King of sweet. At the sweet, we add the pinky to the D minor there. Sweet and I get an F. Drinking cup, Drinking Connecticut. Well, let's try that again slowly. I can drink, drink in Connecticut. So I, I um, we start there with the the F there. We uh, we do the um. Second fret, fourth, fourth string, and then open. And into 
the bass run from the beginning, right? So let's try that uh, again at speed. I'm as old as the king of Sweden, I can drink in Connecticut. You're a year older than the princess, and I don't mean it as an unkind cut. You'll I'll never catch King Haile Selassie, and you'll never catch Princess Grace. No monarchy was bequeathed we, but I'm a hoping that we'll find our place. Probably better to skip the beat there. Times I feel like a two tone common, won't you be my nephew? TD tonight. Yeah, that sounds better. Be my nephew, TD, and be my nephew, TD, for TD tonight. Be my nephew, TD tonight. Well, you decide whether the B should be in there or not. To your performance. Yeah. Song number four, Kick in the Head. Piano song, and uh, holding true to tradition as all the other piano songs so far, it's in C. And we'll be using C, G, and F if you want to play it on the guitar. Well, I hear that you told you she'd been jacking up with your best friend. I'm going to ask for the kick in the head as she said that she wants to again. Like in G. And then we're doing it all over again. While he was kissing and hugging and doing it right in your bed. Oh, it's happened to you. Another foot has the shoe now instead. So if you want to uh, play around with making some sort of variation like the piano, you can try to do like the lift your middle finger down and the pinky there, right? You can make some variations on the C chord um, that might sound a little bit better. Now, track number five, Whatever Happened to Us. Okay, it's G, C, and D. We'll start in G, and for the start, we're gonna do hammer-ons of our um, two top strings there in the G chord. All right? That's simple. So let's try it. Whatever happened to you? Whatever happened to us? C, and I'm going to D. Oh, we miss the proverbial boat. Plane and the train and the buzz from G. C. Push came to shove. D. Fell out of love. G. We tore each other apart. C. Right, do the, the lifting of the middle finger there. Love is grand, but I can't D. understand how you broke why you bro broke my proverbial heart. Right, C. Step up via B to the G. That's Whatever Happened to Us. Track number six is Crime of Passion. Now, um, this is a two chord song, it's E and C. Take me in your arms, snuff me with your charms, Crime of Passion. When my soul has fled, keep my carcass in your bed, hard time ration. Right, so the flourishes there are just adding the pinky there for the E7, and in C, adding the exact same note um, there, right? And uh, if you want to do the uh, keyboard um, lick, I guess. That's just the uh, the seventh and the E and the open E string, and that's all there is to Crime of Passion. Moving on to track seven, the last song on the album side. Uh, 
<clears throat> Excuse me. And um, this song is in G. And let's see, it has a G, C, D, and A, and D7. Yeah. It starts in G and goes, Absence makes the heart grow fonder, And the mind, G7, begins to wander back. C, C, do a, the B, and pull off. D, happier days. G, back to D. I guess you could say you were taken for granted. I went on and on and I raved and I ran it all. My tyrannical ways. Right. I'm back in G there. We do C, B, G. But now things are different in the sus4 right? now you are gone and now I'm not so sure d7 that I can carry on I have that pinky there in the third fret and back to G I always knew you were important to me but now I know you are a necessity otherwise I start to go insane. Things weren't easy when we were together We had plenty of days of lousy weather But now I'm in a hurricane right. Those are the parts um, Easy to do and also a beautiful song So, we're into the live side of the album With On The Rocks Track number 8 uh, <clears throat> okay, so it's an A minor. We start an A minor. Sort of hit the, not the whole chord, just like, well, you're mainly going to be hitting like the fifth and fourth string, but if the third string gets in there, don't worry about it. We do one strike, that's to mute the strings. Open E string, G, third fret there. Open, G, and then the A note. And then we do, we lift the index finger off the A minor chord, and we put it back. And then we have the main loop. You say you got domestic problems. Well, you should get a load of mine. You know it's almost for need Add the pinky there for the A minor 7 Between my baby and me 7th again And I just can't keep from crying A minor 7 We're going to D Our love is on the rocks Yeah, our love is on the rocks Yeah, like some leaky sinking boat E Seven. Our love ain't gonna float, D. Our love is on the rocks and back into A minor. Alright, so that's On the Rocks. Track number eight. So moving into track number nine, Guru. Um, it's a simple little track in G, tune in G. Oh, wait, sorry, it's in C. Never mind. Uh, we're going to do the bass run again. G, A, B, C. G, A, B, C. Down in Southern California, there's a guru that is guru in there. He's got 250 followers. They're following him everywhere. He's got all of the answers to all of the questions, and he promises to set us free. He's got all the solutions to all of the problems that are plaguing our society. Let's C, D, and G, G7. And that's Guru for you. Number 10, Mr. Guilty. Um, it's kind of the same um, chords, actually. We're going to start with exactly the same uh, uh, 
bass opening again. Right, G, A, B, C. Call me Mr. Guilty. Right. Do the middle finger lift there. F. Mr. Guilty, that's my name. Right. Alternating bass here. Without a doubt, G, it's all my fault. F. I am the one to blame. say that you're unhappy Well I do believe it's true Cause I'm the one The no good bum Who did it all to you Oh, oh, oh right. C, B, A minor right? Step down to A minor I'm so sorry Sorry as a man can be At the pinky for the seven D7. I'm so guilty. G. This is my apology. G7. And then back to the beginning again. That's Mr. Guilty, track number 11. Uh, officially called The Untitled, but we all know it as The Hardy Boys at the Y. And we're going to get into A minor. And we're going to pick out the melody here with our pinky. I'm just going to go... So that's, let's see what it will be. Yeah? We're going to hit the open A string. We're going to hit the third fret on the A string. We're going to hit the, hit the, uh, the D string. I'm going to add it... Or, uh, pinky there to the third fret on the fourth string. Open. And then the A string there. <laughs> I'm going to lift our middle finger from uh, one string to the A string. And then C, G, and back to A minor. And it's D. And E. E7. So, you could try to pick out the melody as you sing the verses. I find that difficult to do. So, I just sort of strum, um, strum A minor instead. But if you can do the melody while you sing, good for you. Right. Joe McFrank was working out at the YMCA. The bench presses and the forearm curls are what got them off that day. On the floor of a darkened weight room, for an hour these two did lay. In the distance they heard others basketball their lives away, their lives away. But that's Hardy Boys at the Y. Track number 12, unrequited to the nth degree. Okay, so it's B7, C, G, and D. Those are the chords. So we're going to start out in B7 with alternating bass. So we're going to get to C, alternating bass. We're going to step up to G here via B. B and pull off there. G. We're going to do C, B, G, D. Sorry, C, B, D. Now when I'm calling out these notes, they're, they're the, the, the bass notes, right? C, B, D. Back to B7. C. Right, when you get back up to G, it's G. B, C, B, G. So. When I die, and it won't be long, hey, you're gonna be sorry that you treated me wrong. Hey, you're gonna be sorry that you treated me bad. Yes, and if there's an afterlife, I'll float and I'll be glad. Alright, so that's unrequited. Let's move on to track 13, which is Old Friend. We covered that on album 2. So let's skip to track 14, which is Rufus is a Tit Man. And we're gonna use. G, C, and D7. And so, G, 
G. We're going to do a D7, but we're going to add the pinky to the third fret, first string. Let go of it. G. Okay. Rufus is a tit man, sucking on his mama's land, sucking on the nipple. It's sweeter than the ripple. Alright, that's just G to D7 and back and forth. Line C. Add your pinky to the third fret, second string. Yes, it's sweeter than the wine. You can tell by the way the boy burps, it's got a taste. Fine. Alright, so that's Rufus is a tit man. Um, that's the end of the official record, but let's cover uh, at least one of the outtakes here. Over the Hill, which is an outtake from, um, from this album, is, is available on the CD version, I believe on Spotify as well. Uh, which is F, D minor, and C. So it starts with F. Add the pinky to the, the first string third fret. D minor. Same thing with the pinky. C7. And F. One. You were a young man. But now you are old. You're over the hill. You can. Um, yeah, the other outtake is Hollywood Hopeful, which is available on T-shirt, but, um, heck, why not? Let's, uh, let's do the version from, uh, the outtakes of Unrequited, uh, in this video. So it's D, E minor, C, G, and back to D, so. I am a full-fledged A minor, grown up adult, step up to C via B there. I'm trying to make a dent. Step up to G via the B. Get a result. Back to D. Right. I'm home up in a Hollywood hotel suite. Tequila to drink and avocado to eat. They ain't got all kinds of victories and lots of downfalls. They got drugs in the rugs and ghosts in the walls. Starlets in the lobby that can make a man brew. Throw blood on the curtains and a phone by the poo. Well, I never did see so many TV stars. And I never did see so many rented cars. And I never did see so many desperate eyes. And I never did hear so many bold-faced lies. When I was ten years old, I was alive in the Benedict Canyon up on Hutton Drive. Well, now I'm right back in my own backyard, and I'm trying to get a billboard on the boulevard. I'm trying, trying to get a billboard on the boulevard. To 25 and it's been 28 years now that I've been alive In a matter of months I will be 30 years old And the apprehension that I feel can hardly be told I am a full-fledged grown-up adult I'm trying to make a dent, I'm trying to get a result I'm holed up in a Hollywood hotel suite Tequila to drink and avocado to eat Tequila to drink and avocado to eat Okay, and with that, um, I'm signing off, and uh, I'll be back by with a t-shirt soon. <laughs>